Raw Rice Water vs. Biochar The trick that made my soil microbiome thrive in just 7 days. What if I told you that a simple liquid from your kitchen waste, or a black, carbon-rich powder, could transform your soil life in just 7 days? Sounds impossible? Stay tuned, because today we're uncovering the truth behind raw rice water vs. biochar, and which one can actually make your soil microbiome explode with life. Most gardeners think plant problems start above ground, with weak stems or yellowing leaves. But the real story begins underground. Beneath every thriving garden is a bustling metropolis of microbes, fungi, and beneficial bacteria that regulate everything from nutrient flow to disease resistance. When that microscopic city goes silent, even the best fertilizers can't bring plants back to life. So, what can you do to wake that hidden world up again? Two unlikely contenders have gained attention for their supposed soil-transforming powers, raw rice water and biochar. One is a byproduct of washing rice. The other is an ancient charcoal-like amendment used for centuries. Both promise to revolutionize the soil ecosystem. But which one really works? Let's dive in. Across many traditional farming cultures, rice water has been poured back into the soil for generations. The cloudy liquid you get after rinsing rice isn't waste, it's actually loaded with trace nutrients like potassium, phosphorus, and magnesium, along with starches and simple sugars. These sugars serve as a microbial buffet, feeding beneficial bacteria that boost soil life and nutrient cycling. To put this to the test, we used 500 milliliters of raw rice water diluted in 2 liters of clean, non-chlorinated water, and applied it directly to our test soil once a day for a week. Within 48 hours, we noticed subtle but exciting signs, slight soil loosening, a mild earthy smell, and early surface fungal growth all indicators of microbial activity picking up speed. By day 7, microbial microscopy revealed a sharp increase in bacterial colonies, particularly Lactobacillus and Pseudomonas species, both known for improving nutrient solubility and root health. The topsoil darkened slightly and held moisture longer, which is often a direct result of increased organic activity. But rice water isn't all magic. Because it's rich in carbohydrates, overuse can create anaerobic zones if the soil doesn't have good drainage. The trick is moderation small, frequent doses that mimic natural nutrient pulses instead of drowning your microbes in sugar. If rice water feeds microbes, biochar builds them a city to live in. Made by heating organic material, like wood or crop residue, in low oxygen, a process known as pyrolysis, biochar creates a stable, carbon-rich structure full of microscopic pores. Think of it as a coral reef for soil life. Countless tiny chambers that shelter beneficial organisms, retain nutrients, and balance moisture. When we mixed 100 grams of finely crushed biochar into 1 kilogram of dry soil, then hydrated it lightly, the transformation took a bit longer to show, but the results were deeper and more stable. Unlike rice water, biochar doesn't feed microbes directly. Instead, it hosts them. Its vast surface area becomes a microbial refuge, protecting sensitive colonies from environmental stress while trapping essential nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus. After seven days, the microscope told a different story a slower initial rise in bacterial numbers, but a broader diversity of species, including actinobacteria and filamentous fungi that play crucial roles in decomposing organic matter. The soil pH also stabilized, and cation exchange capacity, a measure of the soil's ability to hold nutrients, improved noticeably. The plants growing in the biochar-treated beds showed thicker roots and improved water retention by the end of the trial, though the visible effects above ground were more gradual than the quick microbial burst seen with rice water. When we placed both soil samples, one treated with rice water and one with biochar, under identical lab conditions and analyzed microbial population growth over seven days, something fascinating appeared. Rice water sparked an immediate microbial boom. Bacteria counts nearly doubled within 48 hours. But by day 7, 
the growth curve began to flatten, likely because the simple sugars had been consumed and no new carbon structure was left to sustain the colonies. Biochar's microbial numbers grew more slowly, but showed remarkable stability after the first week. Its porous carbon matrix continued to shelter microbes, providing a long-term habitat that rice water couldn't. Even more interesting, when both treatments were combined, biochar mixed into the soil first, followed by light rice water applications every two days, the results were exponential. The rice water provided fast nutrition, while the biochar preserved microbial gains by giving them a permanent home. This dual approach led to a nearly 60% increase in total beneficial microbial activity compared to control soil, measured via microbial respiration rates and nutrient mineralization tests. So, how can you replicate these results in your own garden? The formula is simple and surprisingly affordable. Start by incorporating biochar into your soil at a rate of 100 grams per kilogram of soil, or roughly one handful per pot. Moisten it first. It works best when pre-wetted or charged with compost tea or diluted rice water. Next, prepare 500 milliliters of raw rice water, dilute it with 2 liters of clean water, and apply it evenly over the biochar-enriched soil every other day for one week. Avoid overwatering. A gentle soak is all you need. By day 7, you should notice the soil becoming looser, darker, and richer in texture. That earthy smell? It's microbial life waking up. The synergy between rice water and biochar creates both immediate and lasting benefits. Rapid microbial growth from the rice water and long-term microbial shelter and nutrient retention from the biochar. This isn't just about faster growth. It's about regeneration. Healthy soil isn't a one-time fix. It's a living ecosystem that evolves with every season. By using natural, low-cost inputs like rice water and biochar, gardeners can reduce dependence on synthetic fertilizers while restoring biodiversity beneath the surface. The lesson is simple. Feeding microbes the right way changes everything. Rice water wakes them up. Biochar gives them a permanent address. Together, they create a living, breathing soil network that keeps plants strong, resilient, and self-sustaining. So, if your garden soil feels lifeless or compacted, stop pouring on more fertilizer. Instead, nurture what's already there. In just seven days, you can kickstart a microbial revolution with ingredients you already have at home. And if you found this experiment as fascinating as we did, make sure to subscribe to Soil and Crop Central for more science-backed soil experiments, practical gardening insights, and field-tested tricks that actually work. Don't forget to like, share, and drop your thoughts in the comments. Have you tried rice water or biochar in your soil? Let's keep the conversation and the soil alive.